Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 47 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. Right now, we are taking a look at the Mushroom Sanctuary that we built last episode. Thank you guys for watching if you did. Let's go over here and get a good look at these guys. Ooh, we got a baby one right here. Let's go. Hold on, buddy. Let's get away from the gate and go over here. Let's make a couple of these baby ones. And now we got baby mushrooms for days. There was one mushroom that we had taken out and we had set aside because we're going to turn him into a brown mushroom. This guy right here, he's trapped. He's in... <laughs> Sorry about it, bud, but uh, he's got to be pretty far away from society. We got four lightning rods right here. He is ready to get struck. We don't want you burning down this brand new house that we got here. Actually, I'm always seeing stuff that I could fix. Here's a long play that we had worked on and there's always something to add. Trap door here, trap door there. This is a cause for some lanterns on the end as well. Now let's go back home real quick. I'd like to explore some other options regarding turning that mushroom into a brown mushroom. During the time that we've spent building this entire city up, we have collected a few tridents, and so I think it's time we actually start using them. We can pull them out of here and into the anvil we go. We have a trident, and uh, we have a book that has mending, unbreaking three, channeling, impaling five, and loyalty three. This thing is going to cost 37 enchantment points. I think it's worth it, and we should make it 38 and call this thing try, dude. And let's go. Well, that's a broken anvil. That was loud. We'll have to replace that guy real fast. We could have put Riptide 3 on it, but I'd rather just do channeling. Unfortunately, you can only do one or the other, and I'd rather do some controlled lightning strikes. Being able to swim through the water super fast and jump out is really, really cool, but honestly, the, the lightning strikes is where it's at. Now we need to just wait for it to start raining, and we'll let the fun begin. In the meantime, we actually do have a couple things that we could get done. There is the middle island over here that I had noticed was actually kind of empty, and all of the villagers were missing. I'm guessing they ran away, or they relocated themselves to another island, only to leave this horse here all by himself. I'm not sure why they would have done that. It's a cute horse. He deserves a family. So let's go over here and uh, let's get some villagers. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to get in this boat here. Please get in the boat, sir. Thank you very much. Take your job away right here. Oh, that was not your composter. Is this your composter right here? Yep, that was it. Let's uh, put these back. Now that you're jobless, we can go out this way. Sir, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to come with me. Thank you very much. This guy right behind us is just following us. Sir, get away. Let's drop you off right here at the corner. We'll go bam right here. And I really hope that you don't run away. Come on, you can... F oh, buddy. No, 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 no. Let's get... This is this is not right. Come, yep, turn around. Let's go this way. You can find a job. Let's go this... Oh, no. Yeah. Let's go back and get a couple more. Let's see if we can drop this guy off right here as well. Sir, no, no, no. You're going in. And this guy, you know what? This guy knows how to follow directions. We got three villagers on this little island now. It's looking like a nice little family. We don't have anybody manning this watchtower right here, so let's see if we can push this guy on up. You're being a little difficult there, guy. You might be the most difficult villager that I've ever worked with. Let's get you on here. Let's go one, two, three, and... Whoa, no, what are you doing? You know what? Fine, just just go do whatever you want then. Maybe nobody was meant to be on this island, but uh, I really hope that nobody runs away from here. It'd be nice to have all these villagers just hang out here forever. Look at this guy. What? Where could you possibly be going? There's, there's nothing even over there. What... What are you doing? I don't mean to get totally distracted, but this guy right here, he just, you know what? What? Why? Why Why are you doing this? He's about to cross the finish line. Here he goes. He's about to win, and he's blocked by the wall. He made it past the wall. He's going to keep going. There is nothing that can stop this guy. You know what? I was kind of annoyed with this guy at first, but honestly, now I'm just impressed. Maybe he's trying to make this sunken ship his home right here. This guy can't be up to any good. I think we you know what? Let's just leave him and see where he's at when we come back. Maybe he'll be like 5,000 blocks away. Who knows? You know, normally I do save the villagers that get caught in this little corner. I don't know how you guys keep doing it, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave you here for right now. I'm just going to leave you here to think about what you've done. If you get yourself in there, you know you can get yourself out. And that that's just life, buddy. That's just life. Santa, let's, uh, let's take a nap real quick. And I'd, I'd love to have a present, please. Absolutely no present from Santa. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Was it because I didn't give you a cake? Well, there you go, buddy. There you go. You can have as much cake as you want as long as you give me more rabbit's feet. Still waiting on the rain to come out. It seems like it doesn't want to... Oh, we have a cat. This guy is just pushing Santa. Dude, what are you doing to the cat? Come on, man. <laughs> the cat got pushed so far. It's another cat outside. We got to make it our friend. Oh, what's up, buddy? Take this. Take it. Yeah, we got another cat. While we're waiting for the rain, there's actually a lot of stuff that we can still get done. There's also some resources that we need to grab for today's build. I'm sure you could tell from the title of the episode, we are going to be building a polar bear sanctuary out in the ocean. We're going to have to go ahead and take some of this packed ice out, also some of the snow that's up top. 
Well, this is actually looking pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's plop this shulker box right down there. Let's take a shovel right here. Taking this snow out right here is great compared to this ice. As soon as we switch over to the pickaxe, it gets... Oh my god, that is so loud. When we're getting the packed ice on the Twitch streams for the nether highways to turn into blue ice, I'll turn the volume down almost like 10% because, dude, it is... It's extremely loud. Why can't everything just be like this snow right here? Looks like we got a mama bear and a little cub down here. What's going on, guys? About to have a sanctuary going for you. I wonder... I, actually, I thought... Okay, I was going to say, I thought the polar bear was going to be aggressive as soon as I walked over. And it looks like it still is being aggressive. And Okay, all right. Oh, my God. The, the, the little baby polar bear is so cute, dude. I wish they weren't so aggressive when they get older. Let's just uh, keep our distance a little bit. We'll just get a bed right over here. Looks like we got a big lava pool over here. Honestly, I could use the obsidian, so let's go ahead and just take all this out. I can still hear some lava down there, so yep, there it is. Let's uh, let's just keep the water right on top until we don't see any more. I find it funny how it's always raining when I'm trying to record, and then when I'm actually waiting for it to rain, it, it stops raining. Kind of funny how the world works sometimes. Collected a bunch of the snow blocks, but we don't have much of the snow itself, and this is going to be nice for layering, so we have to grab some of this. Just destroying the landscape here, making it look awful. Still hasn't started raining, so let's go show you guys what we have built since the last episode. Here's that closest spruce village that we have that we went to in episode 1, and we still need to get this thing hooked up with a pathway over the ocean. Hook it up to this island. We can probably start building on this island too, because we are going to be running out of space in a couple of episodes. Very quickly approaching the edge. We have, oh my god, there's so many cows. We only have room for like maybe four or five builds over in this area. But let's fly over the city. I wanted to show you guys these builds in chronological order. So first things first, we're going to hit up this incomplete nether portal right here. Then we're hopping in a boat so that we can go all the way to the door that connects up to the mushroom island. And welcome to a hardcore player's paradise. We got the mushrooms over here. We got the mushrooms back here. Oh, it's raining. Hold up. Okay, it's raining. This is great. I wanted to show you guys this build, but we don't have much time because it's raining. This is where we're going to be connecting up the nether portal. Oh, it's an actual thunderstorm too. Okay, hold on. We don't even have to use the trident. That's crazy. Let's head back as quickly as we can. It's going to take us a while to fly, so we're going to use the boat. Let's turn around. Let's go. We got to get out of here. All right, the thunderstorm is a Bruin. I'm just going to go right here. Oh, no way. He already turned into a brown mushroom. Let's go. Well, I mean, we do have a trident. Let's see. Can we do this? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Did this guy just turn back into a red mushroom? That's crazy. All right. Well, this is now my new favorite weapon in the game. Got loyalty on this thing, too, so it always comes back. Hey, you over there. What are you doing? Now, word on the street is if you take a trident to a creeper, it becomes supercharged. So let's take a look here. Okay, now that's a supercharged creeper, and now it's coming after us. If there's one thing that could end the hardcore world, it'd probably be a supercharged creeper. Oh my god, we have another guy over here throwing tridents at me. Come on now, guy. Let's get this guy out of the equation. Now, I kind of want to get a mob head, maybe two. Let's try to get some zombie mob heads. We have a totem in hand, so if this thing explodes and kills us, we're good to go. We also put our blast protection back on. Let's see. Is he going to explode? Come on, creeper. Is he going to explode? Oh, God, he exploded. Yo, we have a mob head. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. Bam. We have a zombie head. Can we put this on? We totally can. Let's go, dude. These tridents are no joke, they really do the damage. This thing went from red to brown, back to red, all the way back to brown. This is awesome. Let's get you free and follow me with the wheat here, buddy. We should have had this done last episode, but you know what? Better late than never. This is amazing. And you know what? We can go bam, and we can go bam, and we can make a baby mushroom. And just like that, we have a baby brown mushroom. Let's go! On our way back home to show you guys the long play builds, but I do want to get this zombie head in the starter house somewhere. Let's see if we can put it up on the wall. I think actually what I'll do is take this fern out and I'm going to slap it right up on the desk like that. Now when I walk in the house and turn the corner, that thing is staring right at me. For a second, I thought there was only one of these guys up here. There used to be three regular villagers. I only see two. One got replaced by a jungle villager. Which one of you guys is the murderer? It's probably this guy right here. Hey, you guys are getting way too close. You know, I think you're getting just a little, a little too close. Oh, how'd you? Oh, see you later, buddy. What goes around comes around. 
All right, let's go right past the pumpkin and melon farm, right past the spiral staircase, and into the newest long play build. We have the underground coal mine right here. So this build was wild, super fun to build. Okay, we have some unexpected guests. He looks like he got himself in a cart, kind of like this guy down here. Uh-oh, even some villagers are starting to fall down here. That's not good. You put some job blocks. Okay, this is, we have some zombies pretty much everywhere. Get out of here, guy. What are you doing? Hey, you're scaring my villager, guy. You get, you gotta get out of here. You got yourself down here, dude. I don't really know how to get you back up other than maybe making a little staircase out of some stone that we gather. We'll get one right here. Let's see, can you hop yourself up like this? Buddy, I don't know if you know, but there's a perfect path to jump right back into civilization. Do you need me to move this cluster right here? Let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Maybe that'll help. I was about to give up hope on this guy. Let's go. He seems to have made his way back up. All right, perfect, dude. Good job. Put this back in here. We have that extra fern. Let's just place this down here for some decoration. We have a staircase going all the way down. It's somewhat of a staircase. It's just all made out of stone. And these are the permanent endermen up there. I'm not going to make the mistake of looking at them, but they have been there for hours. They have never left. You can even look in the long play video. They were there the whole time. Yeah, this place is wild. Let's actually fly up here. Bad idea. Ouch, bad idea. And with all of these glowberries getting extra long, it's starting to look overgrown, and I am absolutely loving it. Let's actually say what's up to our new friend. I don't think he's going to be able to stay here permanently. He might despawn. Let's give him some andesite. Can you pick that up? There we go, dude. We have this guy, and now we have our friend up here. This is perfect. The next build I wanted to show you guys was a long play that we did the other day. It was a cozy villager house on the beach on the complete other side of town over here. Fly around the potion brewing tower real quick and we'll get a good look at it from the west side. Coming down from the dock real quick. Actually, wait, we have some villagers that are stuck in some boats. Let's get you guys out. We have a baby villager stuck in a boat. Hold up a second. Let's get you out. Let's get you out, dude. Let's get you guys on the docks. Get up there, dude. Get up there. Okay, you guys were way easier than the guys from earlier. All right, I think you guys are going to love it on this side of the island. And this is the brand new house. Let's actually go over here. Bam! Hop in a boat real quick so that we can get a good look at it from over here. And this is actually one of my new favorite little starter house designs that we have in this world. I wanted to give the villagers over here a bunch of beds with the house with a bunch of workbenches so that a bunch of jobs can be taken. And this guy's loving the new house. But this is it. We have the front side of the house that leads over to the back side with the ocean right here. You can't really see out the windows. I have too much cake in the way, so we can go over here, and this is like our little ocean view, and this is the villager house. And thank you guys for watching the long play videos, I appreciate you guys letting me get my build fixes in. And what do you know, it's starting to rain just as we're starting to find a spot where we want to get this polar bear sanctuary. Obviously, it is going to be in the ocean, and I think we're going to replicate a little bit of an iceberg. Maybe next to this tree farm over here, we haven't built anything in the ocean over here in a while. Next to the starter house area over here would be pretty cool, although I do want to do something with this sunken ship right here, so maybe staying above this area is not a good idea. Honestly, we could just move a little bit to the right. There's this whole area that's unused, and I think we should just use it. My guy is just still going for it slowly but surely. Dude, what are you doing? What could possibly have gone wrong in your life that made you want to go all the way out here? At this point, I'm just extremely impressed. You're way past the frog sanctuary, so I'm, I'm gonna let you do it. You just do whatever you gotta do. I know you got something to prove, buddy. You just, you prove it. You go out there and prove it. Swimming out in the middle of nowhere. I feel like we're pretty far away from that ship. We're kind of far away from the tree farm. We got our own little space out here. I think we should just go down, build up with this packed ice, and uh, let's get to building. I think what I'm gonna do is just continue sliding around here until we have a big circle. So I want this thing to be big enough to have a bunch of natural ice structures, kind of like this right here. We have some ice clusters just growing up like that. Kind of like how the mossy cobblestone does in the taiga. Also, I would like to have enough room on here for an igloo. I think it'd be cool if we did an igloo. We're going to make some custom ice spikes here as well. They end up turning out to be pretty cool. You just kind of have to stair yourself up. You just randomize the sides here and it ends up not looking too bad. We just got to keep making this wall wider and keep building it up so it gets a lot thicker. Basically just making our own custom ice mountain right here. Yeah, this is getting enormous. We have ourselves an iceberg down here. We just got to keep kind of randomizing the backside here. So I'm just going to keep on jumping up. Then I was trying to get a little drooping effect right here with some of the ice kind of going down this way. Build up the sides just a little bit. I want this cave to be nice and cozy for these polar bears. This thing is not looking too bad. We spent a couple hours on a stream building this half a dome and I like this a lot. I got this under area here for the polar bears and there's even an upstairs. Gonna have to hop your way up here. We had to put lanterns pretty much everywhere because this turned into a mob farm. There was creepers and skeletons spawning all over the place. This is my first time making an abstract iceberg out in the ocean here, and I'm loving this. I kind of want to do more projects like this. 
Started adding snow blocks in on top of the ice to give it a little bit of snowy texture. Now this right here is looking a little bit more detailed. The one thing that is bothering me though is the underside. It's not really looking like an iceberg, it's just kind of a frozen ice sheet that's floating. We are going to bring this down by about five or six layers. Sir, there are no visitors allowed, you're gonna have to be gone. Can't believe we almost did this without a conduit. Let's get- Buddy, I thought I kicked you out. Get out of here. Conduits always look crazy, especially with the shaders. This thing is looking magnificent right now. Now we can see more clear, it's more bright under the ocean, and we can just breathe forever. Making working under the iceberg a lot easier. I also just happened to notice this guy, I think he's coming back a little bit. Okay, actually, never mind. This is an entirely different villager. This over here is the original villager. He is all the way out here. My guy, what could possibly be out here? We haven't had this issue since, like, episode 20. Why are you doing this all over again? Like I said earlier, I'm impressed, so I'm, I'm just gonna see how far you can go. Got the moon rising in through the tree farm right here. We also have this guy right here who's just making his way back home. I'm thinking that moving them back to this island was something that they did not want. There's only one fisherman here and the one horse. I, d I don't know what it is about this island, but they do not want to stay here. Two of the guys are all the way out there, and one of the guys actually already made his way all the way back home. This iceberg is fitting right in behind the tree farm over here. I kind of wanted to fly over because... Oh, is he come, Is he making his way back? Nice! He wants to come see if the polar bear sanctuary is going to be suited for him as well. I wanted to see if these spruce slabs would make for good stairs up the ice. I know I wanted to keep it a little bit more natural looking with just the ice and some snow in here. But I'm thinking that some spruce wood in here might make the colors pop a little more. We have a nice dock here so that we bring the polar bears over. There's a nice official spot to land. I also wanted to cure some of the lighting issue over here by putting in a small diorite statue with an end rod. I figured these would kind of look like natural rocks poking out of the ice. The ceiling was looking a bit dark, so I wanted to add some chains hanging here and put some end rods at the bottom here. I mean, the ceiling lit up here makes it seem just a little bit more magical. Now this whole staircase area is not looking too bad. I would like to start adding some color to this build. We could start adding some amethyst in here. Let's go find some clusters at the nearest geode. I haven't gone for these in a very long time and wow, okay, yeah, these are all completely full. We need to start taking these out. About 10 minutes to take all these out and we should have a couple of stacks. We still need to set up an auto amethyst farm. That would be very nice. Like I always say, there are too many things to do in this world, man. Just too many things to do. Let's fly back. This thing is looking beautiful right now. I think the amethyst is going to look fantastic. Let's kind of just start spreading these around the edges. Load them up over the cave entrance as well. And we actually were able to make this cave because we had the iceberg effect going down below the water. So now we have a nice little wonderland of a cave down here. Just got to add some amethyst to the ceiling and to the floor and to the walls. The ice is already so reflective and the amethyst is as well and it's just shining so bright down here. And somehow this thing is still not completely spawn proof because we got zombies coming out of nowhere. Got some amethyst geodes up on the top overhang up here. And now I'm looking at these diorite rocks from up here and I'm thinking we should add a little bit of green to them. So I do have some flower pots with some ferns that we should add all the way around. This should add some much needed color to this build. And it looks like this guy out here has got some second thoughts. He's starting to make his way back the other direction. I think we ended up mob proofing the cave up top and down below and we have it decorated with a little bit of green, a little bit of purple in here now. I think it's about time we move in these polar bears. Let's fly out to those ice spikes and see if we can get them to come back with us. I can feel it getting colder, I see the ice. It would be very fun to be able to breed these guys because then we would only have to take two of them back home instead of taking four or five of them right now to be able to make a full house. But unfortunately, that's just the way the game is, so I think we're going to slap a lead on this guy. Ice path going for this guy. Come on now, let's go, buddy. Sometimes it feels like the polar bears can go faster than you even when you're in a boat. These guys are straight up just sprinting on top of the water. We've got a dolphin that joined us too. I actually forget how long these journeys are when you don't have a elytra, man. This takes a while. A couple thousand blocks seems a lot longer when you don't have any rockets. And this polar bear is having the time of his life. He's just swinging back and forth. There's a stray LA all the way out here in the ocean. Dude, I, I've saved so many LAs out here. How, how do you guys keep... And there's another one! How do you guys keep coming out here? Okay, since there's two of you, I will put you on a lead. Let's go back and get your buddy, too. Now we have Dolphin's Grace going way too fast. Okay, buddy, you're a little too high up there. Can you get down here, please? Just a little lower, buddy. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we have two LAs and a polar bear. Is that a third LA up here? Oh my god! Okay, so now we have three LAs and a polar bear and a nice sunset. Let's get back to our boat real fast before the drowns start spawning out here. Let's go home, dude. Hey, what's up, guy that doesn't want to live at the island? Meet the new polar bear that does want to live at the island. This polar bear is so excited, he's trying to swing all the way around me, and bada bing, bada boom, we are home, buddy. 
Of course, one of the Alayas gets in the boat. Let's see if we can break this down. Here we go. Let's get everybody up onto the island. Okay, let's tie the three Alayas up to here for now, and let's get the other lead that's in the water. And I'm actually going to take this guy down into the cave. Now I'm going to get some more polar bears from that biome back there, and you just make yourself at home down here, buddy. I think about four or five more polar bears should just about do it. Let's see how taking four of these guys at a time turns out. One at a time might have been a little better. These guys seem to just swing around a lot and go right in front of you the whole time. You guys are making it very difficult to get there quickly. Come on now, please guys, <laughs> come on. We are slowly but surely going to make it to the shore. Okay, let's take the boat back and let's bring these guys all the way as far back as we can. Now, these polar bears do have quite a bit of space in here and there are quite a bit of them, but I wanted to give them a little bit more space. So we're just gonna go right through the back on this other side here. With more packed ice, we made an overhang in the back to just create a little bit more space so these guys can crawl around. Take enough out, and we have ourselves a nice little gateway here. It looks like I lost one of these here. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Really do hope they are enjoying their home. There's a couple more things I did want to do, so I want to take out some of the packed ice for some texturing because we can put blue ice in here. Plop some out of the floor here. Still kind of crazy to me that we had mentioned making a polar bear sanctuary in episode 1, and it is episode 47, and we are just getting to it right now. Just shows you how many things there are to do in this game, just endless builds to be made. And I was just thinking about the polar bears and how they look. It's kind of hard to differentiate between any of these guys. They all have the exact same look, at least with the llamas, we can throw colors on them. It's been a while since we said hello to the llamas. Let's fly over here real fast, because it'd be cool if the polar bears had something like this right here. We have a light blue on Buddy right here. Pal's got some purple. We got Mate dressed up in yellow. Friends in blue, and we got Guy over here in the lime green. I mean, I wish the polar bears could do that. Now I'm going to start going around the perimeter and getting some sea pickles up in here so we can get this a little bit lit up on the sides. I don't want to just rely on the end rods and the diorite for all the lighting on the floor. We can get the perimeter at least set up. Hey, get back on the island, buddy. What are you doing? Now, I really do like the way this thing looks, but I think if we get some icebergs, maybe 10 or 12 of them around the sides here, I think that's going to make this build pop a lot more. Probably make them all around this size, and we can pop some snow blocks up in here, too. Break this all off. We're good to go. It's fun to see these guys enjoying the backside of this area now. Icebergs looking decent so far. We just got to keep stacking them up and breaking them off. Wow, I'm loving the way this thing turned out, man. A little dock that takes you up in here, too. And Oh, actually, hold up. I didn't even complete this. Get some stairs right here and some stairs right here. And voila, we have our nice little dock. Actually, I'm going to get a little bit of extra ice just covering the wood here to make it seem like the wood's just kind of more structurally sound. And might as well get some spruce trap doors here to make this look a little bit more detailed. Hey, what are you doing? Get tri duded buddy. And that right here is looking a lot better. I feel like this guy could be added to the world. He just hopped right into the boat. Let's go ahead and take him back to the island. Put him right next to the dock. Maybe he'd like to become a fisherman. Let's just plop you right here, sir. You're not going to be afraid of polar bears, are you? Let's just go right here, get you up here. And he seemed... Oh, did he? does he want to run away? No, he just wants to be a fisherman. I can tell you guys are going to be best friends. Kind of funny that it rains here and it doesn't snow. It usually should be snowing here during this type of weather. Forgot to get one little end rod here in the new gate. I think this might be my new favorite build in the game. We have a new home for the polar bears. This is awesome. They have their own upstairs balcony with a little mezzanine down there. And everything seems to be lit up so there's not going to be any mobs over here. Except for these alays, of course. I think I'm just going to leave them here because I don't know why, but they, they wanted to escape so they, they can just hang out with the polar bears. This guy too, he can be the zookeeper fishing for everything that these guys need to eat. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thanks to all the new Patreon members, all the new Twitch subscribers, and the new YouTube members. I really do appreciate all the support. Episode 48 is right around the corner, so stick around for that. Do something nice for somebody, and until next time, take care, everybody. Bye!